Hey, what's going on guys? Bringing you a Team Fortress 2 spy gameplay on Gold Rush. This is going to be my first video for Team Fortress 2. Planning on, you know, starting making a few videos. What I like to do is Gold Rushes, I usually like to set up to this barn. Because there's usually always an NG set up. And just Chaos Spam Zap. And uh, once you've got everything zapped, just, you can easily jump out this window here and grab the health and then go back for the second round and that will usually wipe them especially when you've got the help of a heavy medic uber going on down the side and um, blocking this engineer here with the dead ringer allows me to kill him and now they pretty much are now blocked from setting up back here and you're guaranteed to get this next point the first point on this map is really quite easy nice little face stab on the spy there of course, Spy isn't just about yourself, you can help the team push the cart every now and again. And it's also great for staying alive because you can use the Dead Ringer as well to push the cart and you can take next to no damage and still carry on and help your team. As soon as the gates go down, I like to take this route because you avoid the spam of the tunnel. I spotted a sentry to the side here, gave it a quick zap and headed upstairs to the barn where I predicted another engineer set up. The engineer setup was wiped out and unfortunately I did end up having a bad look here. The medic, I think, had his solemn vow on and it allowed to see the health and to see where I was even when I was cloaked. So that is actually a really good weapon to use and I've never actually seen that being used before. So the aim of this is just to try and get get to the back of the spawn and end up uh, taking out a few of the teleporters get the enemy team worried and start being a bit of a distraction to help your team push the cart so I jump straight ahead running straight into the spawn see the medic I end up going for him and then get a nice side stab on that zap keep him occupied engineer picks it up end up running away taking a few pop shots with your pistol pistols always a useful weapon but that sentry ends up taking me out. It's quite easy to predict the engineer spots because they're usually the same every round. You've got the upper barn right next to me as we're coming up now. And you've got the also the second upper barn once you pass the checkpoint. And then once they get destroyed at the barn, they usually head to that little peek over corner that looks at the cart. They're usually quite easy to take out, but they're usually sometimes a bit of a pain in the ass. Also, you don't need to panic about pyros. They can only spray you, and especially with a dead ringer, they can't do much harm. Thankfully, I got their health pack, and the heavy stopped me from dying. Make sure you uh, change disguises regularly. It helps fully enemy team. Bit of chaos here. Get a backstab. I get a face stab, miss, decide not to go in there as there's a pyro. You don't always have to uh, go all guns blazing in there. You sometimes, as a spy, need to take it slow, take it back, go around. And as you can see, I use this path a lot, and it's good because you can just keep going up, go for a stab or a zap, then rinse and repeat, because that's what spy is all about. Finding something that works, then rinsing, repeating, rinsing, repeating. So here, I'm just... Uh, Wondering, if you're wondering why I didn't sap this teleporter, it's because I'm actually using more of the enemy time by standing here, sap, stabbing and zapping, so they're actually wasting their time with that. Didn't see the demo man. Picked up the weapon to get full ammo so he can't harm me now. A few pop shots with a pistol. Lucky shots on him. Ended up doing well. Forced myself to take a feign. Go in for the health. Rinse and repeat again. The pistol ends up being really useful with this game, picked me up about 4 or 5 kills, and it is really good to get good with the pistol. I like to um, crouch when you shoot, because it gives me a little bit more accuracy. Also, it's good to sort out your crosshairs to personal preferences as well, that helps. I got lucky here, this was the only point in the tunnel where you can actually fit two people past, I ended up squeezing past. Just waiting a little bit of time for my dead ringer, going for a spawn stab. Bumped into a demo, catches on, 
feign it to make it look realistic. Go back up. See the dispenser's got metal. Sniper's in scope. He's no worries. Go for the engineer. Zap. Stab. Face stab. Zap. Rinse and repeat again. Going around the back. It's the same medic with the solemn vow, but he was stupid and tried to needle spray when I had the dead ringer. If he had used a solemn vow, he probably would have found me. And after that game, I ended up playing uh, 25 points top of the team, showing that Spy, you can actually help the team.